Hey, and welcome to Witchcrafty. Today I'm going to be covering another 15 hats from Among Us. I've already made 10 on my channel, so if your hat isn't in this one, make sure you go check out there, as I've covered nearly a third of them now as of releasing this video. You can use Velcro or magnets in the plush to join these on so that they're removable, but the main intention of this video is to showcase the patterns, and the suggestion is that they're joined on using an invisible stitch. The pattern is available for free for my DeviantArt, it's the second link in the description. Each hat has its own small segment on the pattern page. Here's a list of everything you'll need for the Fez hat. Pause here if you need to. The first thing you need to do is take the black band piece and on the side with no tracing, sew it onto the longer width edge with no added seam. After that, fold this piece in half so the shorter width sides align and sew them together with the tracing facing up. Place the top circle piece so it aligns to the sides and sew it onto the top. Once done, flip it upright. Measure out some of the yellow embroidery floss and tie it to the end. Thread this into the centre of the top of the hat and pull it through. Leave a small gap then tie another knot, cut off the thread a little further down from the knot and spread out the thread below it. And that is how you make a fez hat. Here's a list of everything you need to make the ram horns. Take two of the four horn pieces and place them together with the tracing facing up, then join them together leaving the straight edge open. Once done, use the remaining open straight edge to flip it upright. Then stuff it and use the stuffing to tuck in the excess seam. Repeat the same for the remaining two pieces. And that is how you make ram horns. Here's a list of everything you need to make the stethoscope hat. Pause here if you need to. For the stethoscope, or the doctor hat, take the headband and place the grey disc in the very centre and stitch a small cross in the centre to sew it on. Place the other small grey circle above this to cover it and use matching grey thread to sew it on. Place both the headband pieces together so that they overlap a little and aren't twisted and use a running stitch to join them on. And that is how you make a doctor hat. Here's a list of everything you need for the hockey mask. Pause here if you need to. Pick one side to be the front on the white piece and then on the bottom small curb, align the grey piece and sew it on using a running or a back stitch. Place both the eyes above this and sew them on so they're symmetrical.
Once done, take the black circle pieces and above the grey piece, join them on to mimic holes in the mask. Take the headband and the top headband and in the centre of the headband sew the top headband on so it overlaps a tiny bit to create a T-shape. Place the T-shape onto the back of the mask and use a white thread to sew each band piece on. Once done, fold the main band piece over at the back and join them so it overlaps only enough to sew it. Then, join the remaining top open band piece so it only overlaps a little over the piece that you just joined. And that is how you make the hockey mask. Here's a list of everything you'll need to make the beanie. The fabric can be changed for any stretch fabric. Pause here if you need to. The first thing you need to do is sew up all of the darts on the top and the bottom of the beanie so that the only open sides are the straight sides. Once done, fold this in the centre so that the tracing the seams face up and begin sewing up the remaining line. When you've almost reached the end, flip the beanie upright and fold in the excess seam. Then use an invisible stitch to join the remaining open edge. Fold in one of the sides so it sits neatly inside and fold up the hat a little to imitate the one in the game. And that is how you make a beanie hat. This is actually how you make a beanie for people too, so if you scale this up to head size you can make yourself a matching one. Here's a list of everything you need for a cherry hat. Pause here if you need to. The first thing you need to do on the red pieces is sew up all of the darts on each piece. Once done, place both of these pieces together with the tracing showing in a bowl shape and begin joining them. When you reach one side with darts, tuck in the stalk piece so it points inwards and join it in, then continue the stitch. When you've almost reached the end of the sewing line, flip the cherry the right way up and stuff it. Conceal the remaining open end with an invisible stitch. And that is how you make a cherry hat. Here's a list of everything you need for the flamingo floaty hat. This one's a lot harder due to the method used to get the plush donuts, so just be warned. The first thing you need to do is place both floaty pieces together with the tracing showing and sew them around the inner circle. Once done, tug one side and pull it through so it's finished side up.
and fold it over three times leaving a small bit at the bottom. Fold the remaining small bit left at the bottom over the folded pieces and sew these pieces together as far as you can along the exposed tracing lines, being really careful not to catch the pieces in the centre. When you can't sew any more, tuck in the pieces nearer to the side of your knot and it should push out more seam. Then continue a sewing line. Repeat tucking and sewing until you've almost reached where you started. When you find your original knot, pull out the rolled up pieces in the centre and it should flip the floaty upright. Then stuff this carefully trying to distribute the polyfill as evenly as possible. Once done, close off the open end with an invisible stitch. Take each headpiece and sew on each of the small black eyes. Place both of the beak pieces together with the tracing showing and sew them together leaving the straight edge open. Once done, use the straight edge to flip them upright. Place both head pieces together and begin sewing them leaving the bottom straight edge open. When you reach the straight edge at the top where the beak should be, tuck it in so it points to the finished side and sew it in. Then finish the rest of the sewing line. Flip the head upright and stuff it. Use an invisible stitch to join this to the front of the floaty. And that is how you make a flamingo floaty hat. Here's a list of all of the materials you'll need for the chef's hat. Take the rectangle piece and fold it in half so the tracing faces up and join it along the shorter width sides. This is pretty hard due to how small this is, but take the large circle piece and fold it over until it fits into the rectangle piece in the top of the seam. Then, join it along the seam line, refolding in pieces that come undone, or to make sure that they all fold in the same direction if necessary. Once done, flip it upright and fold the rectangle piece in half inwards to tuck in the excess seam. And that is how you make a mini chef's hat. This is also how you make them for people too, but this is just a really, really tiny version. Here's a list of everything you need for the cat hat. Pause here if you need to. The first thing you need to do is take both the main black hat pieces and sew up the darts on each side. Then on one of the main pieces using a matching yellow thread, join the eyes onto each side of the dart. After that, place both of the main pieces together with the tracing showing and join them around the top curve. When you reach each corner, tuck in an earpiece and sew them in. Once done, flip it upright. And that is how you make a cat hat. Here's a list of everything you need to make a banana hat. Pause here if you need to. Place the two yellow pieces together and starting halfway along the piece, use a blanket stitch on the edges and join them together. When you reach the bottom, sew halfway then add the third piece. 
Then, join the remaining two edges and the bottom edge so it aligns with the edges that you've just sewn. Repeat the same process with the white pieces so it aligns with the yellow pieces. Once done, tuck the white pieces into the yellow and use a blanket stitch to join the remaining unjoined white and yellow pieces together. And that is how you make a banana peel hat. Here's a list of everything you need to make the caution sign hat. Take one side of the pieces of the signs and use your brown thread to begin embroidering. I use the picture on the Among Us wiki for reference. I started by sewing a slightly elongated triangle then the small dashes in the center. Then I sewed in the writing. Normally I use dashes in all the same direction if the writing looks to be symbols. And lastly, I did the surrounding rectangle border and ended my stitch on the messy side. Taking the brown thread again and placing the other sign piece so it aligns with the first side, so I square in at the top so it shows on both sides and join these pieces together. And that is how you make a caution sign hat. Here's a list of everything you need to make the cheese hat. The first thing you need to do is take each orange circle piece and on the side with no tracing of the yellow pieces I sewed on each one using a matching orange thread, spreading them out evenly to imitate holes in the cheese.
Once each piece is covered, take the two longer side pieces and sew them together along one shorter width side. Align the remaining rectangle onto the back of the two long rectangle pieces on the shorter width sides and join it to each one. Align one triangle piece to one side and sew it on completely. Repeat with the remaining open side, leaving only enough space to flip. When you reach the end, flip it upright and stuff it. Close off the gap with an invisible stitch. And that is how you make a cheese hat. Here's a list of materials you need to make a witch hat. The first thing you need to do is take both hat tail pieces and place them with the tracing showing, then sew them together leaving the straight edge open. Align these pieces to the back hat tip and sew them onto the jagged open lines. Place the tip front and sew the front and back together leaving the bottom edge open. Once done, align the hat brim and the tip of the hat together and sew it on. These should be placed so that you can see all of the tracing on all sides. Once joined, flip the hat upright. And that is how you make a witch hat. Here's a list of everything you need to make the knife hat. Pause here if you need to. The first thing you need to do is put both guard pieces together with the tracing showing and sew them together. When you've almost reached the end, leave enough space to flip and turn it upright. Close off the remaining gap with an invisible stitch. Place both handle pieces together and sew them together leaving the straight edge open. Once done, flip it upright and stuff it. Place this in the centre of the guard and use an invisible stitch to join it. Place both blade pieces together with the tracing showing and sew them together leaving the straight edge open once again. When you've finished, flip this piece upright and use an invisible stitch once more to join it to the guard in the centre. And that is how you make a knife hat. Here's a list of everything you need to make the top hat. First, place both bottom circles together with the tracing showing and sew them together. When you've almost reached the end, flip it upright and close off the remaining gap with an invisible stitch. Take the middle rectangle and fold it in half so it's wrong side up and join it together so that the shorter width sides are sealed. Place the top circle in so it aligns with the rectangle and sew it on.
Once done, flip it upright and stuff it. Place this in the centre of the bottom pieces and join it on using an invisible stitch. And that is how you make a top hat. And that is all 15 hats covered. Thank you for all of your patience in me slowly releasing these. I'll be stopping the hats for a little bit to focus on making the pets for a bit, but I will be completing them all eventually. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and comment down below on ideas you'd like to see me make next. And while you're at it, why don't you go check out my other videos. I upload new videos every single week. Thanks for watching. Bye.